A brick slammed into a businessman's car door. He slammed on the brakes to check what happened. The angry man jumped out of his car and grabbed the closest boy and yelled, What was that? What the hell have you done to my car? Why did you do that? The boy was very scared but extremely polite. And apologized. Sorry, sir. I didn't know what else to do, he said. I had to throw bricks because no one else would stop to ask for my help. With tears rolling down his cheeks. He pointed to the parked cars and said this is my brother, he rolled forward and fell from the wheelchair, and he is seriously injured. I cannot lift him. The crying boy asked the man, could you help me get him back in his wheelchair? He is injured and too heavy for me. He quickly lifted the other boy from the place and put him back in the wheelchair. He also helped the boy with his bruises and cuts. When he thought everything would be fine, he went back to his car. Thank you, sir, and God bless you, said the grateful boy. The young man was too shocked for any word. When he got out of the car, he looked at the bulging door of his car. The damage was very noticeable, but he didn't bother to repair it. He held the money to remind him of the message, don't go through life so fast that someone has to throw a brick at you to get your attention. Moral of the story is life whispers in our souls and talks to our hearts. Sometimes when we don't listen to it, he throws a brick at us. It is our choice to hear the whisper or wait for the brick.